if your death has been decreed at a time, you will not die elsewhere. That is the, the reality of matters. There's an incident mentioned in Madariq al-Tanzil in the 21st Juz. In Surah Al-Rum, in the concluding verses of Surah Al-Rum. فَلَا تَدْرِي نَفْسٌ بِأَيِّ أَرْضٍ تَمُوتٍ فَلَا تَدْرِي نَفْسٌ بِأَيِّ أَرْضٍ تَمُوتٍ No soul knows where he will die. There's an incident mentioned and there's a kitab that I have read. Al-Anbiya wa Malakul Maut. The angel of death and the interaction with the galaxy of prophets. So the different prophets had met with the angel of death and they had dialogues. So there's an incident mentioned in this kitab and I gave you Allama Nasafi has mentioned it here under this ayah. I was telling you that death is inevitable when it has to happen. So the angel of death comes and there was a person standing next to Sulaiman alayhi salam. And the angel of death looks at him. This person doesn't know this is the angel of death. And he looks at him in a very weary way, in a very different way, in a very uncomfortable way. After that, the angel of death disappeared. This person asked Sulaiman alayhi salam, who was that? He said, that's the angel of death. He said, he gave me a very frightening look. And I really got nervous about it. So please order the wind to take me to some very remote location. Now we know the wind would blow for Sulaiman alayhi salam. وَلِسُلَيْمَانَ الرِّيحَ غُدُوُّهَا شَهْرٌ وَرَوَاحُهَا شَهْرٌ وَأَسَلْنَا لَهُ عَيْنَ الْقِطْرِ And the Quran said, the journey of two months in one day. وَلِسُلَيْمَانَ الرِّيحَ غُدُوُّهَا شَهْرٌ وَرَوَاحُهَا شَهْرٌ وَأَسَلْنَا لَهُ And the Quran said in another place, تَجْرِي بِأَمْرِهِ تَجْرِي بِأَمْرِهِ رُخَاءً The wind of Sulaiman was gentle, was passive, yet swift. So it wasn't aggressive. It wouldn't cause harm to nature. It was eco-friendly. There was no emissions of gas. تَجْرِي بِأَمْرِهِ رُخَاءً حَيْثُ أَصَابٍ So Sulaiman alayhi salam instructs the wind to take him to a very remote place. Subsequently, thereafter, the angel of death comes back to Sulaiman alayhi salam. And he asked Sulaiman alayhi salam, where is the brother that was here? He said, to be honest, he felt so threatened and intimidated by your look. He asked me to relocate him with the wind, which I did because of the miracle that Allah has given to me. So the angel of death sighed with relief. He said, I was wondering because in an hour's time, I was given the command to remove his soul at a very distant place. I was wondering what was he doing here? I said, what is this man doing here? Allah has told me to remove his soul at a very, very distant location. And I'm like, this man is sitting here and in an hour's time, he needs to be dying on that other island. وَمَنْ كُتِبَتْ مَنِيَّتُهُ بِأَرْضٍ فَلَيْسَ يَمُوتُ فِي أَرْضٍ سِوَاهَا Whoever's death has been decreed at a location will not die elsewhere. That is reality. We need to know that that is our aqeedah, that is our belief. We ask Allah to give us a death on Iman. We ask Allah to give us a death in a manner that we are obeying the commandments of Allah and pleasing the living the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.